So we're going to look today here at this small flowering plant. And if I zoom back a little bit, you can see that it's growing in a mossy log. So they're quite small. They're maybe about 20 centimeters tall at most. And you can see they have this beautiful white flower in the middle. And if you're familiar with trees at all, this will probably remind you a lot of the flowering dogwood tree, which you'd be right on because this is actually another dogwood. This is um, in the dogwood family. So you might get thrown off looking at these leaves, these parallel vein looking leaves, which might make you think it's in the lily family, but it's actually not, it's in the dogwood family. So it's amazing that dogwoods can be a little tiny plant, a little perennial like this and a giant tree and, and be in the same family, but there you go. So um, they're pretty common across all of Canada and the parts of the States. They're um, common forest plants and they flower kind of earlier in the summer or spring and then they, these turn into bright red edible berries later in the season. So yeah, if you're ever out walking in the forest, you'll probably come across one of these. It's uh, known as a bunchberry or a cornus canadensis and they're quite cute little plants. So they come, they're perennials, so they come back year after year.